chance of some showers and storms. So let's look at what happens in Wichita. We're going to see the skies change, more clouds build in, some of them the darker storm clouds. That'll all happen through the day today. We've got that chance of storms by the time we get into tonight. It's isolated, but it's there. And then uh, we'll watch for the front to come in. I mean, look at this. What a change. 86 today, 55 tomorrow. Oh, boy. I mean, you go from summer-like weather that we've been having all week to, well, you know, classic spring. Now, right now, you don't see a whole lot going on out here. We do have so, a few clouds streaming in, but that's about it. Things have to change in the atmosphere. And let me show you why and what's going to be happening. So it's been mild, yes, and we have the mild air to start. That's one of the ingredients. But there's a front, and behind the front, we've got a cool down. We also have some changes coming in with that front. That's going to be the lifting mechanism. There's some drier air punching in behind it. That's a dry line, especially down here to the south across western Kansas and into Oklahoma. So those will be the lifting mechanisms to get the air to rise. Moisture will be returning throughout the day as well. So we have this chance of thunderstorms, but it is into the evening. And we see that around Salina and down towards Wichita. It's isolated, but we could see severe weather with it. Hail, damaging winds, those would be the main risks if we get storms going today. There's some limits in the atmosphere, like a warm layer of air aloft. So that's why that front is necessary to, or the dry line, to help break through that cap out there. We see that late tonight. This is 11 o'clock and thunderstorms ongoing. And then there'll be another chance again on Saturday, a little further to the south, which we've got to talk about with maybe an even greater chance of seeing thunderstorms and severe weather. Alex? Well, you know, more storms, storms come back. Uh, snow comes back. How about in spots Ooh, that have been yeah. in the 80s? We could That's change. wild. Yeah, it is wild. We could change some snow. We'll show you how this all works out because it's, you know, it is hard to snow after it's been in the 80s. But there's a chance of that. And we look at the forecast, we see snow cover. This is the snow cover right now on the ground. We still have some left in North Dakota and a little bit in South Dakota. It's why you haven't been as hot as places to the south. Northern Minnesota still has some snow. And into the UP of Michigan, we still have some snow. A pre from the warmer times. <laughs> I uh, don't know. Hopefully. I was thinking like it's ruining everything. <laughs> it's ruining <laughs> depending on your, on your outlook, right? Yeah. Well, yesterday on the show, we asked you, what is your favorite airport and why? Because we were talking about the busiest airports globally, which, by the way, the top three are in the U.S. Which is kind of wild to yeah. think about, right? All right. Well, Jay says, Sky Yeah, that's a Ooh, Charlotte thing. Are they near where you can see the, yeah. the planes landing? And uh, we have a nice view out. like the Okay. Well, that's good. Cool. Either way, activity. it's rocking cheers, right? You yeah. can chill out there. That's pretty cool. All right. Well, we are less than two months away from the official start of hurricane. For those who may not have experienced that, uh, maybe give them some advice. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Did you, uh, what's your, oh, because you posted the question, but what's your story? Uh, I my, you mine is more of the Lizard. aftermath uh, of a storm. Of course, Armageddon here in, in, in Atlanta. Oh, when right. We had the snow, which yeah. was not a lot of snow, but the way it happened, we had the snow, the temperatures just dropped yeah. throughout the day. Everything froze over, and it, it, looked, it was the scene out of The Walking Dead, yeah. right, where yeah. cars are stuck on the highway. It was just an unbelievable, an unbelievable time. Would you say that was more extreme than I remember in Wyoming one time in like a blizzard? I mean, it, that looked really yes, extreme. Yes, but it was it was so controlled because I didn't, I wasn't necessarily having to deal with it. I was true reporting it. Yeah. But when you're living it, yeah, it's a, it's a different, it's a different thing. That's a good point. Yeah. Yeah, that's a really yeah. good point. Well, the gates to adventure are Only always about open. 48 days until the official start to the hurricane season. Of hurricane seasonal forecasts, well, they're coming out as we near June 1st. Former NHC director and storm specialist Dr. Rick Nab breaks it down in how El Nino plays a role in how many storms we could see this season. Every year. Every year. We say it all the time, right? I you know. just got to be prepared equally every year. That That's what it comes down to, right? Preparation. We just It's just these seasonal forecasts, yes, they're there to give us a sense of mm -hmm. what we may be dealing with, but it, it's not God's truth. Right. And, you know. It only takes one. It only takes one. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But like you at home, we also want to know, what, you know, what is the outlook? We'll talk more details about this, though, coming up. Well, welcome back here into America's Morning Headquarters. Rounding out this uh, work week, uh, looking towards the weekend. We got plans to get out. I know a lot of uh, festivals that'll be taking place this weekend. Music festivals, food There's festivals. There's a ton of them. Yeah. yeah. So uh, you want the weather to cooperate. Yes, and it does look like it will in Fort Lauderdale. They'll get some clearing yes. weather there for Tortuga, which we highlighted the other day. And then mm -hmm. the rain came. So somewhat improved, but not everywhere. We actually have storms on the move and developing in the plains, Alex. Yes. But we've had a hot and dry week. It has been. Yeah. I mean, we had fire danger yeah. and now the threat for storms. And now the threat for storms. So let's get into what's going to change today. We do have a few clouds out there right now. This is the first time I saw a few showers starting to pop, but it's, it's not much. We're going to see a lot more changes.